All right, we're going to have a look at question five here, and there's actually quite a lot going on. So we're going to start off by redrawing our free body diagram here. So we've got our circle, and the only force that's going to be acting on our person is going to be this normal force caused by the spinning at the station. So we can go ahead and record our variables. So we know that the mass of our astronaut is going to be 70 kilograms. And we know that the radius of the space station is 90 meters. And the other thing that we know is that the astronaut's weight on Earth is going to be equal to their mass, 70 kilograms times gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's going to be 686 newtons. But the question is asking us, what would it, the period be if the weight of the astronaut were only 60% of that on Earth. So we've got the weight on the space station is actually going to be 686 newtons, the weight on Earth, times 0.6 or 60%, and that's going to give us 411.6 newtons. So knowing that, we can go ahead and use our equation. Four centripetal is equal to 4 pi squared rm radius times mass all over top of the period squared. So we'll do a little bit of algebra here, and we'll rearrange this so that it's our period, which is what we're after, is equal to the square root of 4 pi squared rm divided by the centripetal force. OK, so now we can actually just go ahead and plug in our values. And actually, we can even make this better by saying that our force interval we know is equal to our force normal. And we know that force normal is going to be equal to this uh, weight of the person on the space station. So we'll plug in our values. And we'll say that we've got 4 pi squared times the, times the radius, which is 90 meters times 70 kilograms. And that's all going to be over top of 411.6 newtons. And when we plug that into our calculator, we can see that we get 24.6 seconds. And rounding to significant figures, we get 25 seconds.